Hello YouTube, Mr. Max here, and whew, um, yeah, that Pokemon Direct just ended, and let me just start off by saying, I personally really, really liked it. Now, a lot of people I've been seeing are either lukewarm or even don't really like it, like what they showed, because I guess, A, they're not super into Pokemon, which I can understand. Like I said, like I said in my last video, I enjoyed Pokemon, but it definitely wasn't like my favorite game in the Wii U. I'd rather just be playing Smash Bros. over it, but they did show a lot of Pokemon stuff, and I'll get into that in a minute. And also the idea that Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are on the 3DS and not Switch. When I'll get more into that like, also later, but a lot of people were just upset at that, claiming that Nintendo screwed them over or something, or Nintendo doesn't know what they're doing because they put these games on the 3DS. And... So let's break the direct down real quick. And I'll start at the very end when the, he announced uh, um, the original Gold and Silver are going to be on the uh, Virtual Console for 3DS. Which I'm kind of surprised that Crystal didn't also get in there. Especially since Yellow was released along with Red and Blue. But whatever, it's fine. Um, people have been wanting to play these games again for a while, and after Red and Blue sold so well last year, they thought, hey, might as well put these on there as well while we still, while we still can. Um, so yeah, that's just an announcement that was just going to happen at some point. I didn't even really consider it, just because it seemed a bit... It seemed... <laughs> one of those things where I was like, it was so obvious, I just didn't think of it. But yeah, that it makes sense that they would go ahead and do that. And I think that's going to also come out on September 22nd, along with Pokémon Tournament Deluxe. Which, if you saw my last video, that's one of the things I personally predicted would happen. A, a Pokémon Tournament um, ported to the Switch with all the extra content that was only in the arcade version, plus some extra fighters. Now, I, I thought there would be like two to four new characters, but just having Decidueye is fine, I guess. That's, I think, 21 new characters. So, that's not bad. Um, just being able to fight as Scizor, as Decidueye, as Empoleon, as all these other characters that were only in the arcade that I couldn't play as on the Wii U, I think, I think I'm probably gonna, gonna buy Pokémon again. Yeah, that reveal trailer, I, I think they killed it with that reveal trailer. Just showing, showing the different ways you can play, showing you can give the Joy-Con to someone, uh, showing you can take the Switch anywhere... Just the little subtle hints here and there to other Pokemon stuff. It, I feel like Pokemon really knows what they're doing with their commercials and advertisements. Happened, but yeah, that Pokemon tournament uh, commercial was pretty dang good, I thought. Um, and like I said, I'm probably gonna gonna buy it again uh, for the Switch once I eventually get one, of course. But I. I'm all kind of. I kind of wish I hadn't predicted that, because as soon as I saw the the Switch logo come up, my my first thought was, oh, it's probably just going to be Pokemon Tournament, and I wish I hadn't thought that because then I wasn't surprised when Pokemon Tournament came. But whatever, it's fine. Uh, I wasn't really expecting to be super surprised this direct because. I mean, there's only so many things they could really announce. The thing that would really surprise me was if there was there were a Nintendo Switch main series Pokemon game, and there just there wasn't one of those. Which I know last video I said I would honestly be kind of mad if if there wasn't a mainline Pokemon game announced for the Switch. But even in the back of my mind during making that video, I I kind of thought, yeah, they're not actually gonna make one. They're just gonna release like a like an updated or a, or a platinum or even like a black and white two type game for the 3ds, and I think they did that. <laughs> um, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It definitely makes sense with the whole Ultra Beast thing that's going on in those games. But I really don't. I don't understand exactly what these games are just yet, because the way Masada. Um, revealed it, he was he said something along the lines of a brand new alternative story to what took place in Sun and Moon. So I'm guessing it's like a platinum style game, I guess, but it's 
two versions, but and I also feel like if if they if it were like true sequels like um like Black Two and White Two were, they would probably say, Oh, they're sequels to Sun and Moon. Uh but yeah, I'm I honestly really surprised they didn't just go ahead and do the whole like you know, the the platinum style game where it's both condensed into one instead of more of a black and white two style with the two releases where while you thought you're gonna get gray you got black and white two. We all thought we were gonna get stars or eclipse, we got ultra sun and ultra moon. It's just it's just kinda weird. Um and I'm definitely not opposed to it. I I'm gonna buy these games of course. <laughs> um because like I said in my last video, even if they are just on 3DS, I would still buy them because I can. And I probably I would have a Switch at that point, but I, I have other games to play in that system. My 3DS is still here, and it's pretty much just a Pokemon machine at this point anyway. So, yeah, I, I'm personally fine with it. Would it have been nice for them to be on the Switch? Sure. But like I said last video, the Switch doesn't need a Pokemon game this holiday season in order, in order for it to sell. And, like I said, I, I feel like if they did have a Pokemon game in the works, it should come out no sooner than next spring. So these, these games coming out uh, in November of this year for the 3DS, it's not that big of a deal for me personally. Um, I mean, so many people bought the 3DS last year just because of Pokemon Sun and Moon. And the new, th the new 2DS XL is also coming out this year. Uh, July, and so they want people who buy that system to feel like it's worth it. Just you know, put out one more game at the very at the end of the 3DS's life, just you know, to ride it out, and then next year focus on the Switch. I have a strong feeling that's what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm de I'm definitely not upset that they did this, uh, because like I said, I. Even in the back of my mind, I, I honestly did not think a Pokemon Stars or Eclipse for the Switch was actually going to happen. It was just wishful thinking. It was it was just me going off of a rumor that I heard. It it really it wasn't at really feasible if you think about it. Because Black and White 2, even Black and White to an extent, came out really... I know Black and White came out just before the 3DS came out. Or was it just after? After. Right around the time the 3DS came out. And then Black and White 2 came out a year after the 3DS came out. So, yeah, it's not like they haven't done this before. And I also think Emerald came out a year after the DS came out. So, yeah, they've been known to do this for a while now. And since Pokemon does sell and held so well, they just figured, we'll go ahead and put one more out on the 3DS. Yeah, such a good run. It, so many people bought it last year. We want to give them one more experience to play. So, why not? We're, we'll give the Switch Pokemon Tournament for now, and that'll tie them over. The, they'll give them their Pokemon fix for now until we can, you know, fully deal with the 3DS and then next year focus on the Switch. On the Switch, I don't think we'll get a a Pokemon game on the Switch next year just yet, unless it is like an updated port of Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But within the next year or two, I I really feel like we'll get something on the Switch. And them not releasing it now does not mean that they're not going to be releasing one at all on the Switch. It just means they're not ready to ready for that next step yet. Um, so, yeah. Um, in the comment section down below, leave any opinions or ideas you have about, about this Direct. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you just kind of meh about it? Um, what, did what you predict come to be true? Like I said, I personally predicted... Pretty much everything to happen. Uh, Pokemon Tournament Deluxe, something Sun and Moon related. <laughs> I didn't get that Im that uh, yellow remake, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, did, just give your opinions down below. And what do you think of the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon trailer? Um, personally, just thoughts real quick. I might do a video more in depth later, but the whole alternate de alternate storyline thing could. Could be very interesting. Um, 
they could switch up the trials a bit. Um, just the, the new Pokemon they could add, whether they be new Pokemon entirely, new Alolan forms, or just more National Deck stuff in there. Um, just new Pokemon in general would be pretty nice, because the amount of Pokemon we did have in Sun and Moon felt a bit... I don't know if it actually was, but it seemed a bit lower than other Pokemon games in the past, especially since there was no actual National decks, um, as far as I know, at least in Sun and Moon. And also, if you hadn't noticed, the the armor that Lunala and Sogaleo were wearing in the Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon trailer, the, the armor they were wearing, it looked a lot like Necrozma. It has a very similar, like, black design, the, it's, I think the eyes are the same color, yeah, like, it looks very much like Necrozma, so that's very interesting, um, it almost seems like Necrozma, unlike in Sun and Moon, where he was just kind of there, you had to, like, actually go find him, he wasn't even in that Tournament's Cave, I think it was called, there at the end, you had to go find him in some random field, just randomly, it seems like he's going to play a much bigger role in these games, maybe even like taking over the minds of, Sol of Solgaleo and Lunala, so that should be very interesting. Um, I don't think it'll be like a full-on Pokemon fusion like uh, Black and White 2 was, although if it was, that's fine, since since um, both since the Box Legends and Necrozma are all technically Ultra Beasts, spoilers by the way, um, uh, it it, it could make sense that they're all, like, connected somehow. So, yeah, uh, again, leave your comments down below. If you have any predictions for what you think um, uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon could be, what they're going to add, please leave them down below. Like, I'd like to have a discussion going. Um, and until next time, see ya.